Hey guys, this is John here, just putting together this video, um, kind of running through after we installed Optimize Press onto our WordPress uh, website. So a uh, reason I'm doing these videos is because it's literally taken me probably the, I want to say a few years to really figure out all this stuff uh, about Word, WordPress and website development. So these are just pretty much the step-by-steps to know everything that I've taught myself over the past few years uh, just in a few um, I'm gonna say a few hours so um, it, take this stuff seriously and it's uh, it's very good information so um, once you install optimized press on your WordPress website you will see a uh, screen that is very similar to this one uh, you're gonna have to click finish blog setup so uh, we're gonna do a few things and get this blog set up using Optimize Press. Uh, so as you can see here, we are on the dashboard of uh, the WordPress website that we created. Now, there's a lot of things that we need to get going. Uh, the one, the, re the main reason I wanted to do this video was to get MailChimp set up on your website once your blog is ready, up and running, because the most important thing is to be able to have a opt-in source and bring in the leads, potential leads for your website, or even just contact um, contacts that you plan to uh, uh, create a network with, or just plan to market to. So uh, that's the main goal. So Mailchimp is what we're going to be using for that email marketing system, and we're going to go through all that as soon as I get the blog set up. So blog setup, we're going to click on blog setup. Um, there's a few options you can choose from. I'm just going ahead and speeding through this. Uh, literally, we can pretty much fill all this information in after, uh, but I really just want to get to the meat of it and get the WordPress um, working with MailChimp. So um, if you have any other questions, I'll feel free to you know uh, email us if you have any questions about filling in this information right here. Um, so header, everything. Next thing, the modules. Uh, the modules are the most important in relation to the MailChimp opt-in form. So the third one down, uh, as you can see, is a sidebar opt-in. Uh, we're gonna click that on. So the few things that we need to do, so you can see here, this is just the the main, uh, the the dummy text that they put up for you. We're gonna make it so it's actually gonna be looking like that exactly, but going straight into our MailChimp campaign system. So uh, what we need to do is go ahead and get our API key from MailChimp and insert it into our dashboard. So go ahead and go to MailChimp. Once you sign up with a MailChimp account, I'll uh, just go to the dashboard. Once you start, uh, sign up with a MailChimp account, you're gonna have to create a list, and that list is what you're gonna be putting all those contacts into. So I've already created a list, and we're gonna use a list that I have created. But the main thing is we need to connect this list this list, we need to connect this list to our website. So what we do is you go to Jessica right here. Extras, extras tab under your account. Okay, API keys, click on API keys. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and create a key. Click create a key. Uh, it's very important to keep this key hidden. Um, but for this example, this is just gonna be a test key. So if you try and mess with us, you won't get us. Um, all right, so copy that API key, go into the optimize press, and go into optimize press dashboard. Once you're in the back end of the Optimize Press dashboard and, and you got the blog page set up, uh, you're gonna to wanna to go to email marketing services. Okay, there's a few that you can select from. Uh, the one I'm, like I was suggesting is MailChimp since it is a free service. 
go ahead, copy, and we paste it right there, um, the MailChimp API key. Hit save settings. Okay. So once that is saved, we're ready to go. Now go to blog settings, modules, sidebar opt-in, click on. Under opt-in HTML, click MailChimp. Provider list, website opt-in list. So that's the one that I created as soon as I created that MailChimp account. Uh, the thank you page URL, this is something that you'd want to uh, redirect people to as soon as they have opted in. So I'm just going to put the home page for right now. So I'm just going to put the home page right now. And you can go through the color scheme. There's a few different ones that you can go through. Uh, you know, a lot of them are kind of weird looking, but it's pretty cool to see what they actually have already pre-generated for you. Content, this is where you change everything. So um, this is where you need to, you know, obviously customize yourself and you follow the directions here. But as long as you have all that stuff filled out, then it is good to go. So now go over to submit button, and then that is where you would enter something like click here to enter. And hit save settings. Okay. All right. Now once I went to the website, it still said that to turn your blog on from the blog settings. It's still uh, not set up yet. Um, that is because if you go here down at the bottom next to save setting, you need to turn your blog on and then hit save settings. Okay, as you can see, it's not popping up here, and uh, there's one main reason why, and it's actually, it's funny because it just tricked me, but um, the one thing you can never forget is every time when you have uh, side uh, bars like this, they're usually considered a widget area in WordPress, so uh, what I have failed to do so far is turn on that widget, or actually just put that widget, um, that opt-in widget, literally right there on that sidebar. So what you do to do that is you go to Appearance, Widgets. So as you can see here, sidebar. It's an optional widget area for your sidebar. Okay, so you gotta find the Optimize Press Sidebar opt-in. This is a, literally like a plugin that has uh, been installed along with your Optimize Press theme. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that. As soon as that is saved, it should be there. So we're going to go ahead and come back, refresh right there. So there we go. That's your opt in using WordPress and optimized press theme. So there you have it. That is how you set up your opt in form on your WordPress website using the optimized press theme. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a comment below or email us at alldayfilms at gmail.com. We look forward to helping you out. Send us feedback, what your thoughts are, and if you have any suggestions on some videos. So, thank you for watching, and watch our other videos.